one step forward. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll check our thing. The Rat King, the tragic Rat King. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. Uh, yeah, two costs for four bones is really not good. Eh, nope. Uh, Black Goat, that's definitely better, better than the Rat King. And the Elk Fawn, tough choice. I think we'll go with the Black Goat. It didn't work out for us very well last time, but we also didn't have that many high cost cards. So having this guy around would be good. He's part of the stag. You know what? Maybe we can go for like a stag totem. Uh, what I'm curious about is whether uh, our totem heads will carry over from last, our last round. Um, between these two, I definitely prefer the black goat, I think. Gives us better options for uh, first turn. All right. We're going to the totem for sure, but I want to check the board here. Whoa. Hello? Okay, not sure what that was about. Hang on. We can pull more teeth? We can. I wonder what happens when we run out of teeth there. Um. I don't think anything's changed with those guys. Same lanterns. No idea what's flashing behind that door. Alright, so a raven egg and a squirrel. We can do that. Hopefully we'll remember to. Let's go to the totem. You came upon the old woodcarver who fixed her intense gaze upon you. After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. So we are stuck back with the squirrel head. That makes it kind of tough if we have to go to two totems just to get something useful. Oh, that could be interesting. Making all of our guys level up after a turn. That could be really cool. I like that. Let's let's take that. Uh, I don't particularly care about the snake head. How many snake type creatures have we even seen anyway? Let's take this. Uh, I guess <laughs> we'll have a level up squirrel. Oh, hang on. Yeah, our squirrels will level up. Without another word, the woodcarver was gone. So, yeah, we could have the squirrels level up. Whatever good that does. Maybe they you again. What if the squirrel levels up to gain worthy sacrifice? I'm pretty sure it's just a stat level up. But that would be pretty cool if it did. Uh, so we can actually, here we go, this is why we picked the black goat, is that we could put the wolf down on the first turn. We do not care about the wolf cub because we'll just be winning right away. Nope, not you. Sacrifice, put the wolf. And we win. He'll deal one damage back and then we'll deal three damage and that's enough. Uh, it doesn't matter what we do here. We can we can deal one more damage for the tooth. Good job, boys. Next, we'll pick up a card. And then we can head over to the totem and pick up a different uh, totem head. Hmm. Cockroach, the turkey vulture. Okay, so if we pick up... I mean, I like the mantis, so I think we're going to pick up the mantis here. For me, it's between these two, the Cockroach and the Mantis. Honestly, last time we picked up two Turkey Vultures and we upgraded them and we never managed to play a Turkey Vulture because that eight bone cost is just too high. Um, yeah, if we get a, a Mantis that levels up, I think that's great on its own. And then we could also end up sacrificing the Mantis to, to give Bifurcated Strike to something else. So there's our Mantis. And we'll go to the Totem. And let's see. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Uh, okay, neither of those is what we want. Adding porcupine to everything could be cool though. Hang on, the level up thing or the porcupine? Mm, I think I prefer the level up thing. So our options here are stag types or snake types. Uh, I didn't really realize the, the woodcarver follows your mouse. Or follows whatever you're hovering over. I like that. Hmm. Stag types that level up. That might be good, actually. That might be kind of fun. Have, like, a board that moves around and levels up. Um, unfortunately, the fawn already levels up. So we're going to be... Oh, maybe you can put it on it twice. 
Yeah, I still can't think of what sort of things show up under snake type. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up the steg. Alright. Steg and leveling up. Doesn't do much for us right now, but we'll stick with it. You hunch down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. And we'll go here and fight something. Black goat. Oh, the black goat counts as a steg. That's cool. Uh, okay, and we got the mantis. So, obviously the mantis is the better option to start with. Unfortunately, the porcupine's a problem for us here. Hmm. I think what we'll be doing... I don't want to put the mantis on the right lane, because then it's only dealing one hit. That's no good. We could put the stink bug here to deal with the porcupine, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Put the squirrel down. Put the goat there. And I guess we'll see what happens when he levels up. Next turn, we'll pick up another squirrel. And we'll sacrifice the squirrel for the mantis. And then put the stink bug down. The problem is, I... Yeah, we can't put this mantis there. I don't know how we're doing this. We'll draw another card, and then maybe we draw something that we want to use the squirrel on. Alright, good job, guys. You hit me. I'm in a bad spot. We'll pick something up, and it is a stoat. That's not great. It is better than nothing, though. So, the Elder Black Goat is just a 1-3. Eh. Whatever. I think we use the squirrel for the stoat. So, we'll put the stoat down right here. He'll kill the coyote. And then we can put the stink bug in the way of the porcupine. Stink bug will end up killing itself at the same time that it kills the porcupine because of the porcupine effect. Uh, but then once they're dead, we can put the mantis down and we'll have some decent board coverage. And this porcupine's dealing damage to us, which is not good for us. Um, let us pick up a card here. Maybe get the wolf. We could always sacrifice our goat to put something good down. Now, that is not something good. Hmm. Well, right now we're actually winning on damage, so that's not too bad. We'll be fine. And he's not even playing any more cards. That's great for us. This is a wolf. So let's sacrifice our... that guy for a wolf. Uh, and we'll just kill off the porcupine just to be safe. Do we need to? Hang on. Yeah, we'll just... whatever. We'll play it safe. I don't think he has any more cards to play, though. Yeah. Oh, oh, what did he say? What did he say? What is that? Oh, he surrenders. Uh... You know what? I'll be honest. He's actually... except for the fact that he keeps killing our victors. Or I assume he's killing us. Maybe he's releasing us. But, uh, he's been nice. We'll accept his surrender. Alright. Oh, we shouldn't have. We should have gotten more teeth, because we were going to the help guy next. I would like to go to the totems. Actually, no, let's stick with the stakes. We'll stick with the stakes that level up. That's fine. We'll go this way. Alright, bullfrog, porcupine, and rat king. None of these are good for us. Hmm. Well, the porcupine is the best of what's available. We'll pick him. Now, we could put the porcupine effect on something. Sorry, wrong way. I want to look up here. Porcupine effect on... Oh, we could put the mantis on the wolf. That's pretty reliable. Alternatively, we could just wait until we get a stag to put something on. We used a squirrel, so we could pick up an item. Bullfrog is pretty useless. I kind of like getting rid of the bullfrog. You just put that on the stoat like usual. I think we'll do that. That's better than an item at this point. Alright. Goodbye, bullfrog. Hello, stoat. You're welcome. You can now die to more things. Let's 
let's see what we get. We got a mantis and a porcupine. Not bad. I don't mind that starting hand. Uh, except that they're flying. Hey, you know what? That's what the stoat is for. He can block those guys. Of course, I do kind of prefer not to block them and have the mantis sitting there. That's a much better idea. There you are. Mantis will deal two damage and they'll start damaging that flying guy. While well, this flying guy just doesn't hurt him. Ah, oh, too bad. Maybe we should wait to see where the coyote about the coyote. Ah, uh, squirrel. Eh. We'll put the stoat down. Kill that guy off right away. Looking good. Uh, next we will pick up another squirrel so we can put the porcupine down. Kill off the coyote. And then we'll just pick up a card to see what we get. It's a wolf. Nope, we're not sacrificing two of these guys for the wolf. We are in a winning position. Let's see what we get. The black goat. Okay, we could sacrifice. Oh, I can see, he says. We lose teeth by... Okay, maybe, maybe if we let him concede several times, then he gives us something. I don't know. It's possible. All right, come on. Give us a stag. Give us a stag. Give us a stag. That's not a stag. This totem thing's really not working out for us. Hmm. Is that snake? Like... Bird, wolf. We do have a wolf. Uh... Now nah, let's go with this. A river snapper! Okay, so... Sorry, I always press back when I want to press forward. We could put something... Oh, we could put porcupine on the river snapper. That's fun. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Or we could just go to the campfire and level something up. Hmm, we're gonna struggle against the prospector. I need more damage. He's going to turn our guys into gold. And then we lose. Yeah. I don't want to sacrifice people right now, just because I know running out of cards is a serious concern. So we'll go to the campfire. All right. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its power, said a hungry survivor. We could enhance the power of the river snapper. <laughs> I know it didn't end up working out last time, but I like the idea. Uh, too bad we haven't picked up more stag types. Hmm. You know what? I think the river snappers are best bet. Let's do that. Let's boost his, his attack. You considered leaving the creature by the fire for another moment. This would be risky. Push your luck or pull away. We're going to risk our luck. Awesome. You were feeling lucky. Perhaps you could chance another moment. You noticed a survivor gripping their spear with a disturbing intensity. Push your luck further or run back. Uh, we're just going to run back. The fire warmed the weary river snapper and enhanced its power. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your river snapper in tow, you retreated into the woods. Okay, well, here we go. Getting a 3-6 is very helpful. I'm happy we got that. Um, greater smoke is really handy. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. A haunting clanking sound permeated the fog. G gold? I can smell it! All right, we got our leveling up goat. We can sacrifice it immediately for our 3-6 river snapper. I think that's a great idea. We'll take a couple damage, um, but we'll deal, oh, we'll be dealing three damage and then we'll be killing the mule. It is a shame to be losing our river snapper to this fight because he's gonna, he's gonna hit it and turn it into gold. But at the same time, Here's another thought. The black goat lets us get the wolf down more easily when we have our board covered in gold. Um, 
So here's my thought. Either I use the squirrel and then the black goat and then the river snapper, or I just use the squirrel and greater smoke right now. I kind of feel bad about giving up the greater smoke though. When we could just give up a black goat. But, but when we kill the mule, there's, there's a possibility we get something really good from it. So that we'd want the black goat for. So we're going to do it this way. We will sacrifice these two for the river snapper. It'll deal three damage. We'll take two, and then we'll kill off the mule. Yep. We got a couple coyotes coming in. And we could just put the porcupine down right away. That's not a bad idea. Oh, except that then he would be able to move away. We don't want that. So maybe we put the porcupine where the coyote is. And then it just they both just die to each other. We take four damage. And that puts us pretty low. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Sacrifice that porcupine to kill off the coyote without taking damage. Alright. And then draw a squirrel, because we can't do much without that. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, Alright. My mule! Curse you! Now, we did get another squirrel, and we've got a wolf cub, an adder, and an alpha. Some wolves. We do have the bones for the alpha. That's good. Alright, so that could be really good. I think we just stick with this. We are... Oh, we're not actually out damaging him. We'll do three, he'll deal, he'll deal four. So we should put something down. I guess... Oh, I don't want to lose the wolf cub right away, though. I gotta draw a card, right? What do we get? We got a wolf, okay. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be... We'll put the wolf cub down. That's what we'll do. There we go. Wolf cub, it can kill off the coyote with his first attack, and the next attack will deal three damage. And this will finish them off. So, we have enough for either the wolf or the adder with using the black goat. That's good enough. And we got the stink bug. That's useful. Alright. We'll only have one spot where we can put something down. Um, so we know that he's going to turn our guys into gold. There's gold in them cards! There go our cards. Good, good gold I've struck gold! Oh, he keeps the coyote? Really? Ah, that doesn't seem fair. So... Well, I guess what we're going to do first is actually put the stink bug down just to kill the coyote. Or put the alpha down first. And then he puts the bloodhound here. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. Yeah, we'll get pick up more options. <laughs> Just pop that mule, he says. Yeah, thanks for the advice, bud. A little bit late. Uh, we'll put the alpha down here. It'll kill the coyote, and then... Oh, the gold nuggets gain attack! Oh, wow. Okay, that's neat. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, very nice. And get him. Uh, so now... Well, now we still are just sacrificing for the wolf, so... Let's put that wolf out there. Ooh, the mantis. Mantis could be really good here. Hang on. We might just win with that. Two, four, five, six. We just win with that. Let's do that instead. Squirrel. Mantis. Get him. That was easy. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Is it a stag? No. Is it a stag? No. Oh, uh, it's an amalgam. That counts. Oh wait, the douse is a stag. Alright, let's pick him. Really? The douse is a stag? I thought he looks like a mouse to me. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Let me think. A hideous swarm of insects gathered around you. 
Reptiles slipped and slithered around your feet. You are now engulfed by the wetlands. Uh, we could go for another tribal thing. Go for the sigil. I think the sigil's... Oh, I, I did it again. Sorry. I think that the sigil's a good idea. We can put Mantis onto something. Like the river snapper. And then just keep boosting the river snapper's attack when we get a chance. Go to campfires. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, let's go this way. Uh, it is a trial. We might not get anything out of this. Let's find out. So, the trial of wisdom. So, at least three sigils. I don't think we're doing too well on that. Trial of bones. I don't think we're doing too well on that. Trial of kin. Two of the drawn cards must be kin to pass. Oh, I think we're okay with that. Let's try it. Let the trial of kin begin. Alright, that's one. That's two. That's three. We got them. Oh, they have to be the same. Ah, dang. I was just thinking they had to be part of a kinship. Oh well, that's alright. Maybe we should have gone the left path for the card and the fire. Oh well. We will get rid of the mantis. Thinking about it, maybe we get rid of the porcupine to put it on the... on the river snapper? So we can hold on to the mantis for when we get something more exciting, like a moose. I think having the mantis on... Oh wait, no, because the moose would move around. Yeah, maybe we put the porcupine on the moose. Okay. Let's put the, the mantis on the river snapper. There we are. Cool. And then we head into a fight. The black goat. And we got good options here. We're definitely going to pick the river snapper. In fact, we pick the river snapper and put him behind the stump so he never gets hit. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you for the stump. All right, we win. Sometimes I, I kind of wish that there were like matches with higher health totals as, as it went along, right? Like you'd have to go further on either direction. Uh, we don't have that many teeth, so let's go for a card and then we'd have to sacrifice a card to get a like a bone bonus at the start of the matches. Hmm. We don't have many cards that cost bones, do we? Just this one? What was the thing that cost four bones before? Oh, that was from a mule. Maybe we do go to the trapper. How many bones? Oh, teeth. Teeth up here. How many is that? That's at least four, so we should be able to get one golden pelt. Or they might cost five, I'm not sure. I have the finest belts for sale. Get them while you can. Alright. On the house. We'll pick up a golden pelt. Thank you, sir. You have me gratitude. Yeah, until later. And then we have to fight you. Go to the campfire. More attack. The crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. But perhaps one of your creatures will join us. Enhance its power, said another. <laughs> and we put in the, port the river snapper. Easy choice. Good job, bud. Surely your creature could become more powerful. But you would need to risk another moment by the fire. Push your luck or pull away. Nope. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your river snapper. We are not risking him when he's got bifurcated strike and four attack. Alright. A lucky draw. Uh, we do have a rabbit pelt. That's unfortunate. There's not much we can do with this turn. With this hand. Uh, we might just die to the ants. What should we do? We'll definitely block something with a rabbit pelt. And does that give us a bone when it dies? Probably not. There's no bones in a rabbit pelt. Yeah, I guess we're just sitting here and waiting. Ooh, it's gonna get ugly. Draw something good. The douse. Hey, you know what? That's actually really good for us. Because we can actually 
Oh. It's kind of awkward. Do we put it where the ringworm is? We don't want to get rid of the ringworm. So we put it here. It blocks one. That comes in, deals... He deals three and we... Oh, we don't quite die. The douse will be in the way. But then he's going to die to the worker ant. Oh, that's so awkward. Ah. Uh. We could put the stink bug somewhere, actually. So if we block these two and we put the stink bug across from the worker ant, the worker ant does kill our stink bug. Hmm. But I want to see what happens when this guy... So, like, it says... When uh, when we got the option of picking the douse earlier in a different round, uh, he said something about the douse getting enraged when his chimes were, were rung or something like that. Um, one card per turn. Yeah, that's because I clicked over there. Yeah, let's let's try this out. Let's see what happens. We're going to put the black goat down here and put the douse here. So that he kills the ringworm, which is an unfortunate waste of a turn. But these two chimes... Oh, the chimes themselves have fledgling. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, well in that case I kind of regret that. Maybe I should put him here. And then the chime could have taken out of the ringworm. Oh well, we'll see what happens. We can put the stink bug over here so that we don't die. Um, it's going to deal one damage and then he's going to come in and get killed by that. But the two ants are going to kill the chimes. We'll see how that pounds out for us. Oh! I forgot about the overkill damage! <gasps> okay, okay, this guy's amazing. He attacks the things that attack by chimes. That's amazing. It says my flesh. You took no damage. What are you complaining about? Uh, let's pick up a card. That's a wolf. We're not sacrificing those guys. Way to go, the douse. That's really cool. Does that... Um, would that, like, apply... Okay, well, I think... Sorry. Uh, got distracted there. So we're gonna sacrifice our stink bog to get rid of the mantis. But would that chimes thing apply if we put the sigil on somebody else? I wonder. Doesn't matter. We're not gonna do that since he is part of our tribe. That, we, that we're playing with. But I am curious. Okay, well, we got this guy. Hmm. We're not using the soap. There we go, there's a bunch of teeth. Hey, that turned out well. Uh, we could go over here for the totem thing. I don't feel that's the best choice right now. So we could go here and hope we get the stag. I'd rather just, I'd rather just go here and pick our card. And we did not get a stag. So our options are a cockroach, which is not too bad. Rat King, I do not think is worth at all. Kingfisher, I think is kind of just a bad card. So cockroach it is. I mean, it's got undying, so we can put that on something. That's really good. All right, plus two health. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Uh, we can increase the health of the Taos. He's pretty cool. But he's kind of like short-lived, right? Like after the chimes are gone, there's not much reason to have him around. I just want to make the river sapper bigger. I think he's great. Oh, you could put porcupine on the cockroach. He just keeps coming back and having porcupine. That's kind of fun. Porcupine on something with poison is definitely the best, though. Uh, we'll put two health on the river snapper. It's just a really good card. You considered leaving the creature by the fire for another moment. This would be risky. Push your luck or pull away. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. By spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your river snapper. Alright. The dose. Oh, yeah. Uh, kingfishers are not going to attack the dose's thing. Too bad. 
Uh, and we also actually just don't have much to play here, do we? We could put the porcupine in front of the coyote. That doesn't make sense. Let's put a rabbit pelt here and sit around. We're taking two damage. All right, they're all flying. That's really unfortunate for us at this point. Um, you put the douse down. That is our best option, so we'll do it. Yep. Oof. Not pretty. In fact, when we do this... Oh, I guess this chime can level up and do something cool. Maybe kill the sparrow. The douse will kill the coyote. Two damage. We're taking three. We'll survive. You got him. Okay, and now he's actually offsetting the damage, and the Elder Chime is going to be dealing damage to the Sparrow. So this this works fine. Uh, we can even just put the Porcupine down. And then we're ahead by one on damage. Oh, Coyote's going to come in and die to the Porcupine. They'll kill each other. That's okay by me. Let's see what we can get, actually. Maybe... We've got four bones. We can put a Cockroach down here. And it will never die. I'd rather put the cockroach down over on this side, actually. Now we can sacrifice the cockroach. We'll put it there. Or we can also just win next turn. Yeah, see, that's why these kingfishers are no good. They deal one damage and they block your own lane. Uh, there's a black goat. That's no good for us. If we had one more... One more... Uh, oh, can we sacrifice the Elder Tribe? No, it does not bleed. Okay. Elder Chime. One, three, bell. You got him. All right. Pick up a card. Mantis, River Otter, Rat King. Okay. Uh, we don't have a uh, Mantis anymore. So that doesn't help. Mm, look at our cards here. What are we really banking on? River Snappers are a strong guy. The Douse is pretty good too. It'd be kind of funny to give it Bifurcated Strike because then it would strike the Chimes spots. But it wouldn't protect them. Oh, we could give it this. Hang on. Submerges itself during its opponent's turn. Would it still attack the, ch the guys that hit the Chimes? Uh, dealing three damage per turn while submerged. That's not too bad, is it? That might be worth it. We'll take the River Otter. Uh, we could go here for a card or here for a... whatever. We'll go here for a card. D did you bring us two of the same? We would like to experiment. No, no pairs. C can they take... You will take one of our creatures. Uh, we could take a River Snapper. The Douse. Let's take another Douse. Yeah. Another Black Goat. Not bad. Alright, we might we might super boost our Douse if we find those guys again. Alright, fighting the Angler. A rotten sense caused you to retch. Doubled over, a mucky boot entered your field of view. You looked up to behold an unnaturally large figure. Bring fish. That putrid smell. <laughs> Our douse. Alright, so we got a black goat with a douse. Uh, we could just go right away. Uh, the kingfisher's not doing anything in that lane. Okay, so we've got the same kind of question. Do we sacrifice a black goat right away, or do we hold on to it and sacrifice the greater smoke instead? If we sacrifice the greater smoke instead, we can actually put the stink bug across from this guy. Oh, either way, we can put the stink bug across them. Okay, we'll have two bones from sacrificing the goat itself and the squirrel.
Yeah, you know what? Let's just, uh... Let's just do it this way. Put him down there. Get our chimes. And then we can put the stink bug here. Deal three damage. And you know what? He's at, he's dead next turn. That's it. We got him. I'll still hard choose. Uh, doesn't matter what you choose, buddy. We'll pick up a another card. And then we'll just let him go. Good job, boys. Go fish. Oh, shoot. I completely forgot about this. We may just... No, we aren't going to die because they actually hit the chimes. One of them is going to kill the dose. Ah. Dang. Alright, we are going to need something big here. That's not good. Alright guys, we're going to reveal Go Fish. Oh no. I'm doomed. <laughs> no. I am doomed. There's not much I can do with this. I can't even... Alright, we lost. Put a scroll down for whatever reason. Oh, you know what? We can use the hook to win this. We can deal five, five damage. The hook grabs one of these guys? Yes, it does. River Otter. With that. And we win. Easy. Not even close. You will not perish quite yet. Thank you for the hook, Angler. Perhaps one of these will entice you? A uh, Gek? Nope. Mole Man? Nope. Amoeba? Eh, it could be good. I don't know. Is that really worth getting? Like, oh. Eh, sure, why not? It only costs two bones to put it down. The angler's foul smell slowly faded as you continued on. Let me think. The beauty of the falling snow could not distract you from the chill in your bones. Your body quaked in a futile attempt to maintain warmth. You had finally reached the snow line. Uh, which way do we want to go here? We could go up there to trade our pelt. That could be pretty good, pretty useful. We could supercharge our douse if we go that way. I don't mind having multiple douse though, to be honest. I think I'd rather go this way and just put a sigil on something. Uh, although this is a trial than an item, that's no good for us. This is a card, so we definitely prefer that, but then we have to get rid of a card. Is there a card we don't care about? Stoat, kind of. Um... I'm undecided. We'll go this way to start with, though. Uh, ew. Well, we got the elk, I guess. It's a 2-4. That's it. But it levels up. So it's something. Alright. Getting rid of a card or going to the campfire. Now, that's a trial, which is not great for us. We don't have very good anything. Uh, and then we could combine the dose, but I think that might even be a downgrade in our deck. To, to combine them. Unless we were to upgrade them. Oh, we can't put any sigils on them before then, so... It's better to go this way. And we can trade the pelton. Alright, we'll go this way. Get rid of... Honestly, I'm thinking we just sacrifice the stoat. Please no, he says, but... Ah. I don't have any use for you, bud. Don't we have two dose? Am I missing this? Oh yeah, there we go. There's the second one. Do what you must, says the stink bug. Well, you're a very useful stink bug. I think we're doing it. Goodbye.
Yeah, good but that guy who's inferior to the greater smoke that I get on boss fights. Okay. We get some bones at the start of the match. We'll fight something? Am I heartless for doing that? I don't think so. He keeps saying things like misplay at me. Yeah. Alright. That doesn't justify it. We can put... Uh... Oh, I mean, we can kill off an elk fawn immediately just by putting porcupine down. Let's do that. And we can put an amoeba down, too. He's got undying. Unkillable. All right, sure. Put him there. Oh, it moved. Right. Uh, we can draw this. Maybe we'll get a black goat. How about that? So with the black goat, I feel like sacrificing the amoeba. Let's do that. Uh, I did not mean to click the card. All right, and then we get the dose. I sacrifice that, put it here, kill the fawn, and then the elk comes in, hits the chime, gets hit himself. And I think we win next turn. Oh, we don't. The elk moved in the way. But that worked out for us. Uh, let's pick up this. And we get a rabbit pelt. We can put the amoeba down. Sure, why not? Got him. Alright. Let's go here and trade for some cards. Have you brought me fine pelts? Rare pelts. Uh... I still haven't figured out what to do with the ringworm. We got a grizzly. Hmm. Well, of these, the grizzly is looking like the best option. We can use that with our goat. We can use it with our goat and not much else. It's kind of hard to summon it otherwise, actually. And it is directly inferior to our river snapper. Do we actually want that, or do we go for an ability, like another cockroach? Oh, hang on. The card bearing the sigil of damage created on each other each space. space. I don't think that's very useful to us. Hold on. We're going to be seeing a sigil. Do we want to put any of these on something else? We want to put undying on something useful. Oh, oh shoot. Hmm. We can put Undying on the Black Coat. I think that's an idea. Alright, we'll pick up the Grizzly. Marvelous. The ammo game's not bad. The Dose. I like the Dose. Ouroboros. No, we already got the cockroach. Or, yeah, the cockroach that we're going to sacrifice. Uh, it's between these two. The Amalgam and the Douse. I think the Douse is great. Uh, so we're going to pick him. I will make good use of these. Alright, sigil time. Oh, and we will get to combine things. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I should have looked at the map. We're going to get to combine things, which means we could combine two Douse. So if we put an ability on one, we'll have like a, a big one. We could put underwater on him. Hmm. I, I do like the idea of having the undying black coat though. So I think that's what we're going with. Just for reliability. Actually. I was just thinking like if we put the black goat's ability on the cockroach, then we can summon it for four bones instead of one squirrel which makes it hard to use at the beginning of the match but easier later on no we'll put on the black goat all right so oh we're gonna be seeing the trapper soon yeah oh well he's gonna fill our deck with some pelts Black Goat and the Dose. 
And another dose. Unfortunately, there's this boulder in our way. That's actually really kind of bad for us with what we have in hand. Hmm. Oh well, so be it. We'll put the squirrel down. Sacrifice it for the black goat. Sacrifice the black goat for the dose. Now, do I put it here and it just dies to the... No, we put it here. Unfortunately, we don't get anything because of the boulder. He hits us once and then he moves over. We'll be fine. Uh, and then we want to put something here to summon the mole man over there so that the moose moves here. Why would we want that? Oh, the, the mole will move in the way. That's what we want. And then the moose is stuck here behind the boulder. Yeah. So we'll draw a squirrel. Shoot. I guess I'm using a dose here. This is really unlucky. Not very efficient. Oh well. Perfect. Good job, Moose. Uh, we can... Well, let's ju just draw a card and get a River Otter. Not good for us. Now, after his next strike, he's going to the right. Oh, no, he's not. There's an elk there. Crap. River Otter would be awful. We do not want to put that down. A stink bug. We can sacrifice... Well, it doesn't help us to sacrifice it. Hmm. Alright, stink bug, you're going down just to save us some health. Alright, and he's going to die to the elk next turn, so maybe we sacrifice him now for something else? Yeah. That doesn't help as much. Putting the porcupine down here would kill the fawn for us. We could also just kill the fawn by putting some, the porcupine down next turn. Uh, we are doing fine on health, so we'll just sit here, I guess. Okay, and then the moose is going to move over there. Hit that. Actually, that works out really nicely for us. Watch this. He moves over. He's going to hit the chime. The elder Dose is going to hit him. Oh, yeah, and the Elder Dose is also going to hit the fawn. Because he moved over. So. Well. We're going to get hit for two. How are we doing on health? We're doing okay on health. Hmm. Hmm. We could just put the porcupine down over here instead. I don't think that's going to do much for us, though. We're going to kill those two, and then the elk's going to attack and move over. I think we'd rather put the porcupine here so that the elk's at three health so our douse can kill him. That's how we do this. All right. Porcupine down this way. Just stand right there. Don't move, buddy. Oh, he's also going to deal one damage. Right. Good job, Dose. Uh, and we can do whatever we like at this point because he's out of cards. Oh, he's not out of cards. He has a skunk who doesn't do anything. Draw a card. We got an elk. Hmm. Oh, the elk deals more damage than this river otter. Let's do that. Got him. Okay. Let's trade in some of those teeth. Meat pelts are the finest. And cheap. Uh, the pelts are cost, they cost more now. On oh, the house. Uh, let's get one, get two? Yeah. We got lots of golden pelts. Much appreciated. We got three of them, I guess. Next is 
Combining guys. Do we not have anywhere to trade in the pelts? That's unfortunate. Uh, sigil. Well, either way, we're going here. Let's go here first. We need duplicates. One for each of us. Uh, a duplicate golden pelts. No, we're not doing that. We're getting the dose, making them bigger. This procedure, it is grisly. Look away. W what have we done? Madman. Hmm. So, card either way, doesn't matter. It's between a sigil or a campfire. I th I feel the sigil's always better, but I could be wrong in this case. Uh, we could put something cool on the grizzly. Oh, yeah, yeah, put the river otter on the grizzly. Or on the douse. <laughs> or put the amoeba on the grizzly, see what else we get. You can just randomly get bifurcated or trifurcated. I feel the river otter is, is actually actively detrimental to our deck, so we should probably get rid of that and put it on the grizzly, because then it would be useful there. Four, 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 six. Yeah, maybe we just put it on the douse. I don't know. He's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think we go this direction. Porcupine fight. Okay. At least we've got some pretty tanky guys. The amoeba has slink. Or skink, or whatever it's called. So, that's a porcupine moose buck. Ugh. Why can't I get a moose buck? Oh, uh, man. This is going to be a tough fight. Unless we can kill him right away. Two... Okay, well, we can't kill him quite right away, but maybe we can do pretty well. Because um, if we put the dose here, then he's blocking that guy. And we put the amiibo down over here. Alright. Then he hits that, gets hit. That was takes the damage. Ah, so not good. We can... We can sacrifice the amoeba if we get something good here. The elk deals two damage. Hmm. It's one more than that guy deals. Hmm. We deal three to him. He deals one back, whatever. And then he kills the elder. And then he moves over. The elk fawn comes in. Amoeba is not dying at that point. So maybe we just hold off on doing this. Too bad that Elder Chime is not going to get any use for uh, for the dose. Couldn't do anything with that, eh? Alright, this is going to be a tough fight. And we're just getting blocked by these moles. Hmm, okay. So, instead of getting rid of the Amoeba... We could put, we could put the elk down here. It kills the moose buck, which is pretty important. And then it moves over, gets hit by, once by the fawn. Then we hit the fawn, gets hit again. So then it's at one health and it moves over here. Uh, and then the elk kills it, but it blocks two damage. Hmm. Or we could go for a grizzly. I, I think that makes sense with the elk. Let's do that. Oh, unkill, like, undying black goat. Very nice. So we're putting him down here to finish off that moose buck. Alright. Take some damage. And then... Our elk upgraded to a moose buck. Why did I not think of that? Our elk is going to upgrade. That's amazing. Yeah, it's absolutely worth doing that. Uh, rabbit pelt. That's no good. So, he's going to kill him. Hmm. And then move over. So, 
He'll become 4 health, come over here, get hit, and become 2 health, and then hit back and become 1 health. So I think that's better than putting the rabbit pelt down. We'll just wait. Unless I've miscounted. Two, yeah, no, I think that works out. Oh, of course, the... Oh my gosh, the moose buck just upgraded again. What? That's cool. Uh, we can pick this up in case it's something cool. It's not something cool. So we'll just sit and wait. Oh, what am I doing? I should have put the pelt down. Uh oh. Oh no, All right. Yeah, I should have put the pelt down so he didn't get hit. Oh well. Uh, something cool. Porcupine. Not bad. Okay, the elk is finally gonna. Oh, he's not even. Gonna, yeah, he is gonna take out the chime because the chime will deal one damage to itself. Doesn't matter. We killed him. There is. There are no. Uh, no moles left. All right. We're doing it. We're making it. Uh, no good. No good. Good. Elk fawn. Does it upgrade twice? Uh, all right. So next, we are getting rid of this underwater thing. Maybe we put the underwater thing on the elk fawn? Just have it keep upgrading, keeps hitting things and upgrading. That could be cool. Underwater thing on the elk fawn. I like that idea. Like, yes, we could put it... Okay, hold on. We're using the underwater thing for sure. Yes, we could put it on the grizzly, but he's already tanky. We could put it on our, our big douse guy, but he's probably going to have finished his main damage stuff. We put it on the elk fawn. Yeah, it becomes tanky, but this way it makes sure that we get to that elk fawn so he can become tanky. Um, Here's a problem. Against the moon, the elk fawn just gets killed right away, doesn't he? Well, if we pick him up when there's the moon, we just wait with the stink bug. That'll be fine. Alright. And that fawn moves around going underwater. Yeah, that's cool. Let's do this. The trapper stood before you. Out of habit, you reached for your collection of teeth. The man grimaced and shook his head. An exquisite pelt ye shall make. <laughs> I, that humming is so good. All right, these these things are tough. How do we beat this one? Uh, we definitely don't want to put the elk fawn across from it. Oh no, the elk fawn's just gonna die wherever we put it because it's gonna move around. Uh, we could put the greater smoke across from that and clear that area. It's not a bad idea. That might be the best option, really. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, we're clear. What am I doing? I could have put him across from this to actually take out a frog and then clear. Ah, uh, we want to get things going. Let's go. We'll take three damage next turn, which is a really rough spot to be in. But we have some pelts that we can block with. Not good, not good. We need another squirrel. So what I'm thinking is we can put, we can put a wolf pelt here, here, put a rabbit pelt here, put our fawn here. Fawn deals one damage, then we take two, so we survive by one. And then fawn levels up, kills the bullfrog. We haven't taken damage from these guys, but we have to put things down in front of them. Yeah. That's pretty rough. Uh, let's draw a card and see what we get. River Snapper is awesome. That is absolutely perfect. If only we had more stuff to sacrifice. So we'll we'll go with the strategy I was just saying, and then we will be putting uh, we'll be putting the River Snapper down and winning the game with him after that. 
That's so perfect. I hadn't even considered we could draw him. All right. The reason we put the wolf pelt here is because it'll last longer, which means the elk pawn is not going to be moving around and getting itself killed. All right. We're going to live by one life. And then we're going to draw... Oh. And then we're going to die. <laughs> Aw, man. Do I have to use the eye? We could gamble. If we're at one life. Yeah, so no matter what we do here, because if we were to sacrifice a squirrel and the elk and put our river snapper down, he would stop three damage. But we'd still get killed by the bullfrog, ironically, of all the things. Yeah. Sadly, I think we have to use the dagger just to survive. That sucks. You draw a squirrel. I can't think of anything else in our deck that would save us here. Like, is there anything we can sacrifice for just the elk? Like, we don't have any flying guys. The douse. No, even he wouldn't do it though, because we can't take a single damage. Also, he doesn't sacrifice for a single elk. Okay, so we'll just pick up a squirrel. We'll play it safe because we know we can win if we use the dagger here. Uh, close your eyes. Ow. Yeah. All right, and we pass the turn. Ouch. I, I don't know what that was that just appeared. Uh, we are drawing a squirrel. That's an elk. So... Oh. You know what? We actually want to put the river snapper here. We have to put the river snapper here to prevent the elk from moving over and getting killed by the strange frog. It doesn't matter, we've won at this point. That there is good enough. They can't get to through, through this damage. We almost won, actually. And next turn. Whatever. Draw a squirrel. Uh, we will deal two damage to them and clear a trap. And then next turn, they're very dead. That river snapper. Uh, we can put down a wolf. To get some extra teeth. The skinning knife turns. Let's trade. I can't see over there. Such powerful creatures, choose wisely. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Uh, all right, so the pronghorn definitely has value to us because it can level up. The moose buck absolutely has value to us because it can level up. I can't even see what that is. Is that a vulture? I think that's a vulture. The vulture that levels up, interesting. Um, river snapper moving around doesn't matter to me. Grizzly bear moving around does matter to me. That's actually pretty rough. What do we have? Like, how much do we have to trade? Just a single wolf pelt? Ew. Uh, moose buck is our option then, I guess. Pronghorn's pretty cool. But, uh, moose buck would be a struggle for us, so we'll take him. Strange choices, he says. 
do we do we get more choices? No. All right. Um, we're fighting now, aren't we? So we'll take one damage, and I'm okay with that. We are going to deal a bunch of damage over there. In fact, we'll even kill that full row. We'll kill that full row, and deal four damage. The elk will move next turn, but whatever. Do I draw a card here? Yes, I do. I got an amoeba. Here, we can put an amoeba down. Why not? We, in fact, we've got infinite amoebas. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, oh no, we don't, because they change their sigil each time. That's interesting. All right, cool. Oh, that was it. Easy. Except that we're blind. Reignite. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Uh, the douse, that will entice me. I like the douse. Let's grab him. I still don't understand how he's a stag, but that's fine. I imagine you'd like to replace that eye you lost. I sure would. Let's grab this one. The choice is final. <laughs> Checking the ground for traps, you carefully step forth. You glimpsed what appeared to be the light of candles in the distance. Hmm. Oh yes, I know. Uh, sigil trading. Do we have pelts? We have pelts to trade. I think that's probably our best option. The sigil would be nice. Picking up... Oh, hang on, hang on. We have zero items. Picking up three items wouldn't be too bad either. These are all good choices. Do we have anything we want to get rid of? The amoeba's not great, but not terrible on its own. You know, getting that, uh, the extra could be helpful. Other than that, there's nothing we want to get rid of. Porcupine, I guess? We put the porcupine on the grizzly. Nah. I think we're better off by either trading for more cards or picking up some items. Trading for more cards is an option. I'm a little concerned about the quality of the cards that we'll be getting at this point. I mean, even amalgams aren't that bad. We're probably going to get amalgams. It's not too bad. And then... Uh, getting three items. What could we get? We could get squirrel. Actually, you know what? Squirrels... <laughs> unironically, getting squirrel jars would be pretty helpful. Because a lot of our guys cost two and stuff. And once we've got the un the unlimited black goat, we want to be able to keep playing it. So having squirrels in a jar just saves us on card draw. Uh, wow, this is a tough choice. Two rares and something else. Or three items. And items can be pretty handy. Like... Do I think I can win with what I have here? Kinda, yeah. The only struggle is when the prospector hits all our guys. Hmm. I'm going for this. Because maybe we can just kind of skip that first phase with the Prospector. If we have a squirrel in a jar, we can put something big down. Like, it just gives us some consistency. Or we get a Golden Dagger. Oh. We choose one? Oh, squirrel in a jar is really good. Honestly, the Dagger is really, really good. Definitely better than the pliers. We'll take the Dagger. Oh. Bones, not so good for us. Black Goat, pretty good. That's a reliable start. Pick that up. And another black goat, or give my things airborne. That's cool, actually. Would that be good for us? Uh, does airborne ignore the moon? I hadn't thought to try that. No, 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 the moon has blocking, blocks flyers. Yeah, so that's useless against the moon. We'll take another black goat. 
All right, so we have pretty reliable uh, summoning. The warm light of the cabin cut through the thick fog. Surely your tribulations ended here. Let's head towards the cabin. One step at a time. Good luck. Alright, we can win one of these. Trial of the Swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the Sprinter Sigil. That's not bad. We've got some. The Trial of the Fiend. We have a single one of those. And the Trial of Rarity. Ah, if we'd gone to the trap... Or, oh, actually, hang on. I guess... If it draws the pelts, then we could... We'd have rares there. Does the Douse count as a rare? I don't think so. We'll take this. Uh, we'll take this. Let the Trial of the Swift begin. We got it. Yeah, we got. We would have gotten it with either one. Ah, uh, Elk is a card with a Sprinter Sigil. Success. You may choose one. That's a big deal. Boon of the Ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. Um, the Boon of the Magpie's Eye. Amazing. And the Boon of Goat's Blood. Not so amazing. It's actually not bad in our deck. But these two are obviously just way better. I think drawing twice might be the choice here. Because we can like pick up a squirrel and something else. And we've got some big stuff in our deck. And we got some goats in, in jars. I love the magpie eye. But I think this is the choice for us this time. Once more. Uh, yeah, trial of the winged. Ring on a finger. Trial of skins. <laughs> That's actually not a bad choice for us, but we're going to take the ring. This is the guaranteed one. Let the trial of the ring begin. I almost missed your ring from up here. You pass. That's an easy trial. Alright, choose one here. So, Boon of Ghost Blood, eh, not terrible. Boon of the Bone Lord, not very good. Boon of the Forest, negative. So, we're taking the Ghost Blood. We have a ton of summoning power this game. Not many 3 costs though. Two boons. Impressive. Hello, Leshy. You spent enough time walking. Now sit. Can I not? I like choose to... Nope. Alright. The end is upon us. Yes, once more, to be safe. Pretty good music. Uh, alright, so we got all these boons helping us out. <laughs> Elder Black Goat. Uh, he's bringing in a Mantis God, actually. What do we do against the Mantis God? Well, you know what we can do is actually just put the Elk over here. He moves over here, he brings the Mantis God, Elk kills the Mantis God. And we put a Fawn over on this side. He's going to turn our guys into gold. Dang it. Hmm. Maybe we hold off on the fawn for now. Just because we know that he's going to turn us into gold. So we put the wolf down instead. Uh, the wolf and the fawn. The elk. Yeah, we can do that. Sure. Do we put the wolf across from the mantis? It deals one damage. Yeah, sure. And then we put the elk over here. There we go. Uh, so... He's gonna turn our moose buck. Ah, it's annoying. Uh, we draw this. And thank goodness we get to draw another thing. Okay. So we can put our elk fawn down after he does this. And there we go. 
You meanie. So his mantis god and amalgram are going to be doing some work over there. Let's draw one of these. We got our river snapper. Ooh. Once that gold nugget's gone, it'll be good for us. We're going to take some damage. How are we on damage? Not good. We cannot take damage. One, two, three. Well, I guess we can put a rabbit pelt in the way to block one. We could... No, I don't want to put the rabbit river snapper there. Well, we got to draw a squirrel. Whatever we draw would... Ah, uh, you know what? I take it back. Oh, well, too bad. We'll play this the fawn here. Okay, hold on. Let's math this out. So I deal one damage. We're at four. If I have a pelt there, we'll survive with one. Put a pelt down. Alistair, hard choose. No, you don't choose that one. Uh, there's the amalgam. Oh, hold on. This is a problem. Uh, draw a card. Black goat. What happens if this thing gets sacrificed? I guess it doesn't matter. Like if I... Oh, shoot. Oh, this actually helps us, right? Does he pull? He pulls before he attacks, I think. So we'll deal two. He'll deal... He'll pull our squirrel. Deal one with the mantis god. And that's that. Take new fish. Easy. Thank goodness he does that. Alright. I think we survive. Yep. Go fish. Thank goodness. Alright. And then we draw. It doesn't matter what we draw. This is going to be an easy fight. Um, Amoeba is all right. I'll draw another. Golden pelt. Okay. Save on life, I guess. Uh, we can pick up the river snapper. Drop the river snapper, I guess. Here. Put the squirrel. Sacrifice of the goat. Put the river snapper right here. And then stick the amiibo down here for the extra damage. All right, the trapper. The dose, good for us. And a squirrel, so we can sac sacrifice for the goat. We got him on this. By a long shot, that's a lot of teeth. Nope, no teeth. Stumps, that's okay. Marmot and Lewis. Alright. Go Marmot. Uh, we got another dose. The bigger dose. Cool. Well, we got him as backup. I think we, this game is in the bag. Uh, the elk, unfortunately, is not leveling up again. I thought he was going to level up again. Hmm. Oh well. Good job, little amoeba. Raid for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Uh, Raven that levels up, that's pretty cool. A flying ringworm doesn't do anything at all. I could trade for the marmot. That's fun. Oh yeah, the raven's stuck behind the squirrel. Let's trade for marmot. <laughs> eh, let's trade for the raven too, we can. Got him. Oh no, Reginald! Oh no! Why was it, why, what? Oh well. We're going to lose our big guy, but we've got more big guys. Oh, what the heck? Do I have any need? Yeah, more squirrels. Why not? We can fill our build, fill our board again. Got him. It's moon time. Goodbye, Reginald. This moon is waning. So much value. Uh, yeah, yeah, lots of value. Do I have a max hand size? 
what do we want to put down? Something that does damage. Marmot? Throw Marmot down there? Sure. Stink bug just to cheese that? Nah, let's not do that. Let's beat him fair and square. Get him, boys! Yep. Horror cards. Go for it. No, not Marmot. Or last squirrel. Uh, we can sacrifice for a grizzly. We'll put a big douse down as well, just because we can. Do you understand? Only one. Really? You've drawn a card this turn. I've drawn two cards. So I'm already breaking rules. Here. Put that down. Good job, Grizzly. And we'll do it again. Just going for all the overkill. Here's our goat. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not trying to click on that. I've just drawn so many cards so far. I don't know where to, what to do with them all. All right. There we are. Got him. Very well. Oh, actually, he's not dead yet. I don't want to draw again. I don't want to sacrifice. We'll just press OK. Bam, lots of damage. What was that? Was that teeth? After the great battle, your troop of creatures was disbanded. You had no further need for them. You are now in the company of a friend. I did this all for you, you know. To breathe, to slumber, to eat. This is not life. Life is the thrill of the kill and the woe of the vanquished. You have now lived, truly. So now you may eat. Mmm, delicious, thank you. I cannot. Is there something wrong with it? Enlighten me. What would make it better? Maybe a cherry. I have come to expect nothing from your kind. If you do not want it, then come with me. Stand right there. Alright, dude. Say cheese! I will need that. You are worthy of a memorial. I will endeavor to fulfill this. Please, inscribe your name. Um, what do we call ourselves here? The Snapper. Um, hmm. Hodgepodge? Hodgepodge. We didn't really have a clear theme with our deck. Do not despair. You won. 